Okay, so Rita Maria, can you walk us through the progression, your, your progress and your evolution in your artwork? I began uh, painting my Texas landscape series um, when I was still at UTSA and I continued with that for a number of years. Um, now in those, I was, I was influenced by Carolina Flores. Um, and uh, I really liked her high use of color and I knew that I could, I, I, I was, color was always easy for me. And so even to this day, I think I definitely have a pretty vibrant palette. But um, I did those for a while and I think I'm about through with those. I think I, now I would prefer to do figures in a landscape. And at that time, I also started a self-portrait series, which was kind of a more psychological approach to painting and also therapeutic. Um, I was trying to explore issues that I didn't understand by painting my, my, myself. And that was limited. I mean, I think that the paintings showed me some things, but um, there, were still, there was still a lot that, that you know, art couldn't be my savior, so to speak. You know, art couldn't exactly bring things to the surface that were um, that 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 were not understood. But it was <clears throat> maybe not a, a complete um, healing, but it was perhaps a step towards some healing. I mean, you well, expressed this this thing that you needed to. Well, one of the things that I expressed was it was a great fear of death, and I had a great fear of death because I, I think that I had become somewhat of a disbeliever. You know, I, I, I didn't, I wasn't certain about an afterlife or, or any of, of is, spiritual issues that had kind of fallen by the wayside. And I think that that was a cause caused by something that happened to me at a very early age. But um, one of the things that I was exploring in my self-portraits was a great fear of death after my mother's death. Any, any other issues besides death? I mean... Well, I, in my current, the current body of work that I am, am producing right now, um, there are self-portraits, but they have a, a lot more um, use of symbol in them. They are uh, set in landscape, sometimes surreal, sometimes more naturalistic. And the whole, the delving and the, the, what they are talking about is the experience that I had as a child that I only recently found to be the cause of much of the unrest and much of the sadness and um, unhappiness in my life. And this was the... <clears throat> the fact that I had been sexually abused when I was 11 and turning 12. And uh, um, that's what I'm exploring right now in my work. And together with having found a spirituality again that was much needed um, and going through therapy, um, my husband and I have been doing that for a couple of years now. Uh, the work though, illustrates this and I think it's much richer and I feel like a much more complete person but none of that can happen without delving into the really painful and difficult issues that this uh, well caused life re reflects art or art reflects life rather and you can't seriously paint and strong statements without having gone through something and it's, it's sad that you know I'm, that um, that some people have gone through this similar experiences um, <clears throat> but now you're you're working through that and and, and the artist is being brought to to fruition and and, and those issues are uh, are uh, being dealt with and they have to be dealt with they have to be talked about um, because 
in order for there to be shame, this terrible shame that a person feels for their whole life and this, this sense of, of unworthiness, there has to, all of that has to be kept secret. So in order to get rid of all of that shame, there can be no more secrets. Mm -hmm. And so as painful as it is to, to, to deal with and to uncover, it has to be done. And part of the reason that I'm doing this and that I hope that many of these paintings can be viewed by many people is so that other people can heal. Because I think this problem is a lot more common than uh, people think. And and you're not. You what else are you doing besides? Are you are you moving through that that issue and that phase and and doing other kinds of work as as well besides the self portraits? Mainly, this is the work that I'm doing right now. I I do. Uh, do sketches of the landscape, but this is what is moving me right now. This is what has to come <clears throat> forth. And it's kind of, in a way, it's kind of like um, in 12-step groups, like in Alcoholics Anonymous, people tell a story and they say, this is how I was, this is what happened, and this is how I am now. And they tell that story over and over again because that's part of the healing process. So my painting is a way of saying, this is how I was, this is what happened, this and this and this, all of this horrible stuff is what happened, and this is where I am now. Easy.